What's up everybody, Brick Sanchez here today with a small little city update. Now uh, as you might have noticed I've been inactive quite uh, for quite some time in the city now uh, but I do want to change that so uh, the next couple of weeks and months will be dedicated to uh, the LEGO city. So, uh, But there's one big change that I want to show you guys already and that's the last uh, table that we have here uh, in the city so I'm going to show you that right now. Alright now before I show you the final table I wanted to show you guys how the city expanded uh, starting from this table right here as you can see I start off with this one. Uh, it has some wheels underneath it and underneath it and stuff. It's uh, two meters forty-four by one meter twenty-five, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, that was the first one that I had. Now I don't really recommend using wheels anymore, because unless you have those really really sturdy ones, like the really big ones, uh, because the wheels tend to kind of um, go down just a little bit. They uh, get a bit lower after some time. So there has been like a few millimeters that. Uh, this table was a bit lower than this one, uh, but yeah, this one has some wheels underneath it as well, so now they're kind of the same. Uh, but so yeah, that was the first one we had, then I started on this other one here, also with some wheels, and this one uh, reached until the edge of this one before. Then after that, we expanded that as well, as you can see, we expanded up to the wall there. Then afterwards, I had this other table installed there, going until that little closet underneath there. And uh, then afterwards, I had that plank, that you can see there, we had that plank going on and another uh, addition to the Hogwarts area there, so a little plank as well and then we had this plank in the middle here connecting the fixed table against the wall with this uh, first one that we had here, so yeah. And then after a while we had that table out there as well uh, with the harbor area and stuff and now we have the final addition as well. We have this table right here up against the door, so now I believe every uh, space is used here we just have a few pathways and uh, one standing hole back there <laughs> to uh, navigate through so yeah either way now let me take you through some plans for this uh, table here all right so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to remove the roller coaster and the disney castle as well as the bruce wayne manor uh, to the new table now the thing that's going to go there is uh, there's going to be a platform starting from that tunnel there going all the way here until this uh, fire station here so we're going to have an elevated level there with the train station the yellow one will be replaced with the harry potter one then we'll have like some walls or whatever in there and then on top of it we're gonna have a new forest type of area with a small park in the front and some more uh, wood area in the back and then where the roller coaster is right now i'm gonna have a little elevated uh, plateau but like probably maybe like six or eight studs or something high uh, or eight bricks high and that will have the uh, first floor of the winter village which i want to have there behind the forest uh, and then on top of the on top of that platform we're gonna have a round uh, train track and on top of that we're gonna have a little uh, little platform as well for like the uh, uh, the gingerbread house as well as the elves clubhouse and stuff so we're gonna have a little bit of an elevation with the train going in to like two tunnels or something I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that uh, but so yeah that's the plan for there and then out here I would love to have a little road here uh, with the Wayne Manor down here then next to it we got the X-Mansion, which I'm going to transform to the X-Mansion. Now, this is very cool because I really would love to have a second uh, platform underneath here for a bed cave and for like the X-Men uh, uh, fighting room and stuff. And then uh, right next to it I would love to have somewhere out here, so the road's going to end probably somewhere around here. And then we're going to have maybe like a parking spot or something. And then I would love to have like the, uh, the ghost house or like uh, the Baron von Baron's mansion. And then right next to it, right here, I want, I want to have the roller coaster so I could actually turn it on because right now it's all the way in the back and it's pretty difficult to reach and stuff. And in the corner here I'm going to have a final <laughs> platform, so uh, lots of platforms coming in. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to have the final platform there with the uh, Disney castle on an angle there. So we're going to have the Disney castle in the corner and have Hogwarts there. As you can see it's all messed up, I still have to do the cliffs and stuff. Then we're going to hopefully have a, an elevated winter village and in this corner we're going to have the elevated uh, Asian Ninjago city here which also needs a, a pretty big update so yeah now I will still have to figure out how I'm gonna do this theme park here I'm not sure I believe like the roller coaster will come until here or something I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that I would love to have like a little train track as well um, but I'm not sure how I'm gonna connect all of this together uh, with the harbor as well I would love the harbor to like uh, stop right here something with like some cliffs or, or maybe even just a wall or something uh, and then we have on top of there we have a little uh, plateau with like the Disney castle and with some other stuff I'm not sure some other small smaller rides or something so but yeah all of that will probably still take a while now the, the things I can do already is put the Wayne Manor here kind of put some base plates in here to see uh, how big we can go and stuff uh, also I would love to connect this uh, this like a uh, road plate that's gonna come here with this one so I'm not sure how how exactly it's uh, the 
uh, ratios are from like on, on the base plate grid if it if it matches up or not now I do know that right here normally there should be it should fit like I believe there are uh, there could be like two 32 by 32 base plates and then a one by uh, an 8 by 16 down here that should work so I'm not sure I hope that I can figure it out down here and I can make a bridge or something like that uh, but yeah as I said this will take probably quite quite some time to make as well as uh, this winter village and all of that stuff so one of the first projects I do have now is probably first finishing up the cliffs down there from Harry Potter and then I'm gonna show you guys a picture I've been working on Brickling Studio uh, for the updated beach boulevard as you can see this entire uh, 16 by I don't know how long strip here will be elevated and uh, I will put in a picture right here somewhere and uh, then it's gonna have a skate park and stuff so that's gonna be a lot cleaner already All right, and we still have a couple more very small updates in the city as you can see uh, we got the taller building there uh, the hospital now I have a separate video about that as well uh, now we also have the uh, police station here into place uh, my little nephew has been coming over to play here so you can see the city is kind of messed up <laughs> but either way so the same way that we did that building uh, the hospital there I would love to have that Emma's uh, art studio or um, I'm not sure what the name is uh, the art studio there is it's a semi mock by my girlfriend but we're gonna uh, make it taller and uh, more narrow so it's gonna be 16 wide as well uh, it might be very nice right next to that hospital I'm not sure if that's gonna be the position for it as well um, but yeah so those were like very very small updates for the rest uh, we also have some um, bad news actually as you can see the Hogsmeade and uh, Forbidden Forest uh, area there had to be completely removed because we were suffering from a, a, a leak from a pipe there and stuff so I had to take it all away to fix all of that uh, so I'm gonna put that back as fast as possible I had to clean the plates and everything uh, either way now the Chamber of Secrets down there is also not in position yet I have to put it right there and then uh, fix all of uh, the rock work so for now I'm gonna keep that open so I can put all of my boxes uh, for the cliffs uh, right there because I'm usually lacking a lot of space to put all of my bins and stuff <laughs> so yeah, now I can put it all on that empty spot and then uh, build onto those cliffs but yeah guys that was it thanks a lot for watching now be sure to stay tuned for some further updates uh, as you heard we got some big plans coming up now it's gonna still take a lot of time but either way uh, today's update was pretty small we didn't have a lot of stuff except for that, uh, that new table of course uh, but yeah that's some exciting news now I hope to be able to start on everything that i was planning to do so yeah guys thanks a lot for watching be sure to like subscribe leave a comment let me know what you think leave some suggestions and all of that stuff uh, and i will see you guys in the next video